Previously on The Walking Dead. Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'm in. All the way. Oh my god, really? Really? Just look what he's done! I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? That's... that's right. You've put me in a no-win situation here. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However... Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. Let Ava live. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? We're leaving. All of us. Right now. It's Kate! She's coming for us! Oh shit! Oh god! While we're still breathing, Javi, I'm letting the bones speak to me. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, I think I can hear them. They're saying, You're gonna lose, come mierda, so play already. I must have inherited patience from Ma. Oh, come on, man. Calm down, David. No one is ever in a rush to lose. Victoria. Carajo, I was so close. You're now my least favorite son, Javier. Hey, he's the one who beat you. Fine, it's a tie. I hate you both equally. <laughs> Kicked out of baseball. Can't play dominoes. What exactly are you good at again, Javi? At least I can actually play baseball. Slugger. That's enough, both of you. It's not Javi's fault he's a disgrace to the game of dominoes. I won. That's ten bucks you owe me. Both of you. I know you're broke, Javi. You should sit out the next game, since we all know I'm gonna win. No shame in surrender. Good game, David. Nicely played. Nice or not, a win is a win. Pay up, little brother. If you can. I'll cover for Javier. Oh, is it your turn to do that now? I lost track. Poor, helpless Javi. Get my wallet, mijo. Keep an eye on him. You don't want him snatching an extra 20 for gas money. It's on the counter. Yeah. Sure, Pa. <clears throat> pa? What's this? Hey! Man, I was reading that. What? Wh what's up? What the fuck is this? None of your business. He has cancer. What? Bob, really? <clears throat> I'm old. Old people get cancer. You didn't need to know. <clears throat> That's not for you to decide! Are you okay? I mean, are you in pain? I'm not happy. I lost a game that I knew I should have won. 
Ah, oh, come on. How bad? It's okay, mijo. Ask me. How bad is it? You won't have to worry about paying me back that ten bucks. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Pa. Please, settle, David. Now. You haven't told Mama. And neither will either of you. You hear me? Mouth shut. That's not okay, Pa. You have to tell her. <sighs> when the time is right, I, I will. That's not good enough. It's good enough for me. You're gonna need her help with this, Pa. Driving you to the doctor, getting prescriptions. Wait, what are your options? Treatment, stuff like that. Chemo, radiation, all that expensive mierda. Great. When do you start? I turned it down. Turned it down? You don't get to turn it down. So much money and for what? Another month. <laughs> Another game of dominoes to lose. It's not worth it. If I was still playing ball, I could have paid for it. I'll pay for it. It's not happening. Save your money. Fuck the money. I can afford it. You can afford it, David. But my pride can't. Let's play another game. You are a fucking coward. A selfish coward. Javi, can you believe this shit? What the fuck, David? Apologize now. Sit down. Both of you. You know, I pray for daughters. <laughs> Every night your mother was pregnant with both of you. Please, God, a daughter. Anything but a son. Anything but another me. Anything but another hot-headed idiot with his heart in the right place. Anything but another foolhardy, handsome gambler. Anything at all. Please, Papa. Don't give up. Fight. Fight for our name. For our blood. For our family. Please, fight. You have to fight, Pa. We don't just give up. Any of us. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'll think about it. Oh, thank you, Pa. Thank you, Javi. Now can we play another game? I'll grab some more beers. So, what are you really gonna do? Truth be told, whatever gets your mother off my ass. You think you two were mad at me for keeping secrets? But it's good to see you and David on the same side of things, or a change. I'm gonna be a name carved in stone before you know it, Javier. That'll be me. Letters on a rock that nobody wants to visit. I know you think you're strong enough to handle that alone. And so does your brother. And you're both wrong. You have to take care of each other. You two are all I'll leave behind. Like Gabe and Mariana would be for David. Legacy, Javier. It's all anyone leaves behind. That and their bones. Be brothers before it's too late. That's not too much to ask. One last favor for your old man. Okay, Pa. I'll try. As hard as you can? As... as hard as I can. I still need to pay, David. Pa. Oi, if you had just won the game, we wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> so you're blaming me for all this? I'm depending on you, mijo. We both are.
gotten out. If something's happened to her, if you've gotten her... Shut up for once and help me find her. What do you think I'm doing? Kate! 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 David, wait! What's the matter with you two? Focus on your surroundings. Uh, There's Gabe and Clem. Lead the way, Javi. Get the knee, like this. Oh, nice. I got a great teacher. You guys all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Look at them! There's so many! We'll be safer inside! Get in! <clears throat> that should hold them for now. You put up a good fight out there. I don't care what you think. Gabriel! Do not take that tone with me. You murdered that man after they let you go. You're a killer, just like they said. You did that? You don't understand. It was them or us. I had to do it. They would never let us go. They still would have killed us, sooner or later. They were negotiating with us, David. Doing that to Clint wasn't necessary. That's how you see it. I would do it again. His brains splattered all over me. You are my son. I am doing what any parent would do to keep you safe. You do not get to judge my actions. Do you hear me? Hey, you do not walk away from me. When someone speaks to you, you stand up and answer them. He's scared. Cut him some slack. He's scared because you've coddled him. He has to learn to deal with his problems. I'm just... I'm trying... To protect you, Gabe. I lost you once. I won't let it happen again. Okay? We made it through alive. Let's just be glad about that. We need to check the other entrances. Make sure we're safe. Gabe, wanna help me out? Javi? Gabriel! Go help him, Gabe. It's okay. He doesn't need your permission. I'll help too. O okay. Hey, Clem's with them. It's fine. It's not that. It's. Let's just. <sighs> I'm all over the place. I need to focus on something. Anything. Just need to focus on whatever. Let's see if there's any way we can help. You really think there is? After the damage we've done? <coughs> Let's find out. Let's go.
I'm glad Mariana didn't live to see this. To see what her father's become. To see what I've done. She'd be just like that little boy. Scared that the monsters are coming after her next. She would never trust us again. And I wouldn't blame her. Leave Mariana where she is. In peace. In the past. How many children became orphans today because of us? How many parents are now childless? I did this to them. That hole is there because of me. I'm just as responsible for it as you are. You weren't behind the wheel, Javi. It's different. I can't leave until I make this right. All of this. Let's fix this as best we can. All right, Kate. Let's make things right. I don't know if it's actually possible, but I feel a lot better knowing you're there, too. You've got a lot of nerve showing up here, after the bullshit you pulled. You're unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. We're here to help. Let's settle this and focus on that. You want to help? <sighs> yeah, that's laughable. Why did you tell Joan what we were doing? I was triaging a bad situation. Their doctor is barely functioning. And before you guys fucked it all up, their walls worked. It's not only about me. I can actually save lives here. Not just stitch them up and hope for the best. These people will die without me, Javi. I know she... Well, fucked us over. But she's trying to help them. She's trying to make something right. That's worth forgiving, right? She's trying. Eleanor is one of us. Maybe she forgot it, but I haven't. Thank you, Javi. We should try to help. Not everyone here is guilty. <clears throat> Fern, is that you, darling? I'm here, handsome. Fern and Rufus. What's wrong with him? Bitten. He's slipping in and out of delirium. We have to find Ada. We have to find our daughter. I know that guy. We had a situation. He's lucky I didn't shoot him. Looks like his luck just ran out. Let them have a minute. It's the least we can do. Y'all get over here. You gotta cut his arm off. It's too far along. I'm sorry. Bullshit. It can work. I've seen it. Do you want his last moments alive to be more painful than they need to be? I just want to try. I can't lose everyone. Please. I'm begging you. I'll try. Hand over that axe. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. far along. The bloodlust didn't help either, I'm sure. I'm sorry. I tried. <laughs> <clears throat> so what can I do? What the- We're all fucking dead because of you! Hey, easy. We're- You blew a hole in our wall! Got my little girl killed! Got my whole fucking family killed! 
Richmond was fine until your stupid Easy, ass bro. showed up. We're dead fucking meat, David. Might as well take out this asshole while I can. Fern. Shut up! I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm so sorry about your daughter. You can apologize to her face just a second. Stand down. That's an order. Kate, no! Fern, this is all because of me. I caused the explosion. I killed your daughter. Please, forgive me. It's my fault. Please. Please, forgive both of us. <sighs> no! Burn! Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> my god! Dad! You're welcome, Hobby. That dead guy. David, what are you doing? This isn't right! David! Oh my god! Did you really need to break her arm? That wasn't necessary. Okay. Don't thank me. No! David! Dave! I, I, I'm sorry, that was an accident. You were going to kill her. She was going for her gun. Look at her. Gabe, I'm... She can't even stand up. What the hell is wrong with you? It was over the line, Gabe. You're right. Gabe, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that to you. You know that. <laughs> Why the hell are you all looking at me that way? They're just... They're scared, David. Of what? I'm protecting them. Why are you pointing a gun at us? So I'm all alone. Fine then. You people are on your own. Such an asshole. I've seen that look in his eyes before. You should go after him. David? What are you doing? Ah, hello, adventure. Come on. Just take a step back. You wouldn't want to, you know, slip or something. Come over here. Or are you afraid of me too? I know the rest of them are. Right? Even if they are, I'm not. I've dealt with scarier than you, brother. There's no if, Javi. They are. My wife, Javi. My son. They look at me differently. Maybe you're seeing them differently. I want to show you something. Stand with me. Why the hell are you smiling? See that sewer line over there? Perfect placement for a trench. That hill about a hundred paces west of it. Sniper's wildest dream come true. I'm a soldier, Javi. I see this landscape like a painter sees a blank canvas. Like how you used to see a baseball diamond. I'm a soldier. This makes sense to me. I was made for this. I thrive in this. Baseball was a lifetime ago. 
I miss it so fucking much. When I wasn't deployed, I'd miss being out in the field. Now that's all I am. Every day. A soldier isn't a husband. Or a father. A soldier is a soldier. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing at all. Call yourself whatever you want. I still see you as my brother. That is kind of you to say, Javi. I wish... I wish I had your heart sometimes. I want to change, Javi. I always have. Really? All you ever tried to do was get me to change. <sighs> Only because I couldn't bring myself to do it first. It's the one war I could never win. And I'm wondering why. Is it because I don't know how? Or because it's impossible to change who you really are? There's a way. There always is. No matter how lost you are. You just have to keep looking until you find it. Looks pretty messy. For now. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Just gotta live long enough to find out. Just like with anything else. I did what you asked. You did. Thanks for that. So now, will you step back? <laughs> sure. I found them! They're up here! Be careful, Javi. I ran into... He was still outside when we checked on the entrances. The muertos were everywhere. We got him inside just in time. So we let him in. There were so many muertos out there. Thank God you're okay, man. I I was worried. Uh, trip. About earlier. Yeah, about that. I ain't gonna punch you in the teeth. Though, I got every right. Really? Figured you'd put up a little bit of a fight. <clears throat> oh, I'd love nothing more, but... <clears throat> I just... I can't shake this slippery feeling I got. Like I'm standing in shoes that don't quite fit. You picked me to die, and someone else did instead. Ain't sitting right. Not one bit. I don't know what to tell you, man. It was fucked up. No doubt. Top to bottom. I ain't gonna ask why you picked Ava. After Eleanor, I... I'm done trying to sort out what's in other people's hearts. Let's just figure out this shit before <clears throat> more piles on. <clears throat> There's so many. They're pouring in. It's even worse than you think. The streets are overrun. Nowhere to go except inside the buildings. And those smelly fuckers are beating down every door. We're sitting goddamn ducks here. Everyone in town is. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck have we done? So what do we do? I don't want to die up here. None of us do, Gabe. Stabilize the city. Figure out how to make it safer for everyone. I saw construction vehicles when we got the armored truck. We can use those to stop the muertos, seal the breach, and save Richmond. That's over by the motor pool at the water tower. We could use the highway overpass to get to the water tower. Come on, let's jump. Come on, it's an easy jump. Keep your eyes open, stay aware of your surroundings, all of you. Let's move out. When we found Kate earlier, she hugged you. Why do you think she hugged you? Why was that? 
Just wondering. That can only mean one thing. She likes me more. Not a great time to joke around, Avi. We need to be careful up here or else the exact same thing will happen to us. Stay sharp and do not fire your guns. We're gonna be fine. That guy was all alone. We're not. Everyone hold back. Let Javi and I clear out these walkers. Move. You okay, bud? When I was little, Dad used to ask me what I wanted to be when I was a man. And I pointed him. He always liked that. I thought he was such a great guy would always make him smile. David may not be perfect, but he's not the worst role model in the world. Maybe. Never be like your uncle. He told me that all the time. Don't be a man who relies on other people to solve your problems. Because then you're not a man at all. I used to think he was right. Not anymore, though, Javi. I can only hope I grow up to be like you. So, here's hoping. Oh, well, thanks, buddy. It means a lot. I'm sorry I never really said it before. I should have. Thanks a million. You're welcome, a million. You took such good care of me. Now we need to take care of Dad. He's the one that needs our help. On the side. There's barely any room. <sighs> well, no time to waste. Come on. You know, I didn't think there was much that could scare me anymore. And yet, here we are. Just goes to show you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Life is full of I'm not just scared. I'm fucking terrified. Damn. This ain't nothing. Once we're back on the ground, that's when this shit's really gonna get scary. Got a bad feeling. Good lord. It's nasty down there. Can't even describe it. You just saved my life. I mean, thanks, Trip. I'm glad you have my back. Lucky catch. That's all. We have to get across. I know Gabe doesn't see it, but David really is trying to look out for him. He's not doing the best job, but no one gives you a rule book to raise a kid. 
And they sure as shit don't. There's just one thing I don't get, though. Did David really think he was helping AJ by letting him go? Why did he stop guarding him? He was afraid. Holding a baby in his arms probably scared him ten times more than any Muerto. I don't understand. After you put in all that work, so much of your heart... AJ was a brat. He lived with me after we kicked you out, Clem. I had already raised two kids. Thought it'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> Not with that tyrant. Is that why you gave him away? We had a bad winter. Destroyed every crop we had. I couldn't leave Richmond. And AJ couldn't stay in Richmond. I gave AJ to Lingard and told him to do whatever he had to to save his life. I miss that Brett. Never asked Lingard about it again. Though I've wanted to. I'll bet the little Brad misses you too. Both of you. It wasn't easy, Clem. Remember, far as I knew, I'd already lost two children. It wasn't any easier with number three. It's never easy. I'm gonna keep you alive. Keep all of us alive. And hope that that's enough. Enough for atonement. We're all abandoned one way or the other eventually. I guess AJ's no different. Holy shit. Chopped right in half. way we're jumping across that. The hell happened here? Oh, there's the other half. You're not thinking. It's that or go back. We should go lightest to heaviest. That way it won't break on the first swing. I'll go first, Clem. Get a long run up, but not too long. If you take too many quick steps, you'll propel yourself upward instead of out. David. He's got this. She's right. I do. <sighs> Come on, Clem. Your turn. this thing not at all it's one thing for the kids to swing across but us you've got this I've seen you do things that are way scarier okay I can do it <sighs> all right David you're up you're the little brother you should go first. Oh, you're definitely lighter. After you. Show me how it's done. Okay. Pay attention. I'm 
going last, brother. Trip, you don't have Just to. Just go before I throw you across. Figure this out. Y'all head out now. I don't want you seeing no, this. Trip, no. None. Motherfucker. Trip. No. Ah! He went out fighting. I hope I do too. I'm sorry about your friend, Javi. <clears throat> He seemed like a good guy. The kind of guy you want on your side in a fight. It's priceless. Come on. We're almost there. when all we did was track the herd from a safe distance we need to get down there we're not getting anywhere without one of those vehicles it's not like we can just ask all those walkers to move out of the way how about we make some noise and distract them we could use that generator that's a great idea Gabe when'd you get so smart Gabe you really aren't the same kid I remember I'm impressed. It's pretty obvious. Should have tried noticing. I'm definitely paying attention from now on. Proud of you, Gabe. Uh... Thanks. We still gotta get to the generator somehow. Cut a walker open and cover yourself with its guts. Then you can slip right through them. What? Oh, that's a great idea. Gross idea, but... Great. I could have saved my water bottle. So, who's gonna do it? You know, you do kinda owe me one. You let Conrad use me as trade. That wasn't very polite. If it makes us even. Look, it smells really bad. Like, way worse than you think. <sighs> Is that why you smell so bad? 
Okay. That better be enough. You did it, Harvey. Barely. Now that we're here, we gotta find something to seal the breach with. All we need is the right vehicle. Oh, that's not gonna do the job, man. Yes, it is. What are you doing? The right thing. I'm leaving. We're all leaving. What? And going where? You saw it yourself. We're surrounded by the herd. I'm taking my family out of here. You helped keep them safe, Clem. You're coming too. Let's go. Everyone. We can't wait around. This is bullshit, David. Absolutely not. Everyone in Richmond will die without us. They don't matter, Hoffman. Don't you get that? This all started the day we knocked on Richmond's door. We brought this on these people, all of us. We can't abandon them. Not after what we've done. <clears throat> we're going home, Kate. Back to the last place we were a family. We're starting over. We're all together again. Finally. It's time. <clears throat> all of us. A new day. A new life. But what about here, man? Make Richmond our new home. Richmond is gone, Javi. I'm not gonna let the people I love die trying to save a dead dream. I'll go with you, Dad. Gabe! <clears throat> He's my father, Clem. I'm sorry, but... you really wouldn't understand. Think this over, buddy. Gabe? Is this what you really want? I know it's scary out there, but... I have to. You don't have to be afraid, Gabe. I won't let what happened to Mariana happen to you. You have my word. I will protect you the right way. We always hoped you would come back. I wish you'd gotten to know her. Her smile, man. It was like sunshine. I'm not missing another minute with my family now. This is what I want. I... I understand, Gabe. I'm still going back. I won't be able to live with myself if I don't try to help the people in Richmond. You won't be able to live at all if you do that. Richmond is compromised. It doesn't matter if there were five of us trying to save it or 500. We'd all die. I know a losing battle when I see one. We're moving out. Everybody get in. That's an order. How fucking dare you? What will it take, David? What will it take to show you that you do not get to do that? We are not your soldiers. Run away home. Be a deserter. I am done with you. Let's go, Javi. <clears throat> Why the fuck do you think he would go with you? Tell him. What the fuck is this? 
I love her, man. We're in love. I should have known. I should have known the night Pa died. The night you weren't there. Blood is worthless to you. Just like he was to you. Just like I am to you. Well, it's time for you to finally learn what blood really means! David! Dad! What do you have to say for yourself, brother? David! Stop it! I love you! No. No, you don't get to say that! Jesus Christ, stop! How fucking dare you! I love you! No! Stop saying that! Dad, no! Gabe! Oh my god! You're not taking my family from me! David, no! I'm gonna fucking kill you! I love you, brother! No! to go help Richmond. I'm getting on that bulldozer. But Gabe! Gabe wanted to go. He did. We all heard it. You're... You're right. I'm going to save Richmond. Someone has to. I'll use that motorcycle and go after Gabe. Javi, you should help Kate. What about you, Clint? I can take care of myself. We're out of time. Javi, I'm sorry. I've been here before, more than once. It's not gonna end well for everyone. You have to decide. I can't let Kate go by herself. It's too dangerous. I'm going with Kate to save the city. Okay, I understand. Be careful out there, Clint. You too. Both of you. If we're gonna drive into the herd, we're gonna need these. There's a hat we sight. Can you help us get the gate open? Almost didn't recognize you, Jesus. Once I got in contact with my people, I headed right back. Had to make sure you folks were safe. I think I'm getting the hang of this. We'll keep the muertos away. Just get me to the gate so I can open it up. We're almost there! Hobby, get in the busket and I'll lift you to the top of the gate! Busket? The thing in the front! The scooper thing! Whatever! Get in it! Yuck. Javi! The busket! Right. Yeah, busket. I see you folks who drop by. Second. They couldn't just have an open gate button. <sighs> nope. 
Okay, never pull that lever again, Javier. You did it, Javi! Bingo. Let's get inside and wrangle the walkers together! If we get them in one group, we can lead them right out! Steam ahead. back to, uh, well, not to this. It's just a little surprising, that's all. I'm just glad you didn't give up on us. Real glad. I gave you my word. Javi, look! It's Clem! Gabe? Is he? No, no, he's fine. He's just banged up. What happened, Clem? Their car got overrun with walkers and crashed. I was barely able to save Gabe. What about David? It's dead. I'm just glad you found Gabe in time. Thank you. Thank you for saving Gabe. I don't know what I'd do if I lost him too. Of course. When I got there, it looked like David had turned. And that Gabe had to... stop him. Oh, God. Gabe. It's horrible. Javi? My... my dad... He... I know, buddy. He's... he's gone. No, no. He wanted me to tell you... to take care of each other. Where did you find them? A little ways outside of town. Not too far. Can you take Gabe somewhere safe? Yeah, sure. Come on, Javi. Where are we going? A funeral. Oh my 
God. Poor David. Poor Gabe. I can't imagine. Yeah. Poor Gabe. He shouldn't have had to suffer that. <sighs> yeah. He talked about this every day. What to do when he died. He was convinced it would happen in the field. Every day. As common as talking about the weather. Not surprising. He was a soldier. I used to hate talking about it. But it seemed to soothe him. He'd talk about his military funeral the way that other people talked about retirement plans. He'd only change the subject if I promised I'd bury these. He didn't care about burying his body. As far as he was concerned, this was him. Help me dig. It doesn't have to be much. Probably say something. That's what you do. Usually. I'm gonna keep watching out for Gabe. We'll take care of each other. Do you, uh, you wanna say something? Let's go. It was his own fault. <clears throat> if you regret helping me, if you're feeling any guilt, bury it. I mean it. Don't let it eat you up inside. We need to move on. Move forward. We do. And we will. Usually the quiet scares me. What about now? There's a lot of work to be done. The herd could come back. Still though, I feel more calm here than... than I ever did in an old van on streets with no streetlights. We earned this, Javi. We earned feeling calm in the quiet. Let's start a family. You and me. A fresh start. What do you say? I think it'd be good for us. You're on. Let's start a family. You don't think it's selfish? It's not the safest world outside of Richmond. Or inside it, truth be told. So long as I got you, I'm not too worried about it. Be up there before we know it. Better do something worthwhile in the meantime.
And yet death was not something you could ignore. It had its weight. It seemed to her she had better not form the practice of ignoring death. If she tried it, death would find a way to answer back. It would take another of her loved ones to remind her to respect it. What's that you're reading? Oh, some old book Francine always tried to get me to read. Cowboys and shit like that. Told her it wasn't my style. She would insist, though. <laughs> and I'd insist right back otherwise. Cowboys? <sighs> Boring. And that's what I said. Let me tell you, though. It's not half bad. Heading out? Yes, indeed. We came here to put an end to the raiding. Looks like that's been done. Glad we got it settled. Gotta move on. I gotta admit, man, you're a fucking badass. You're a real charmer. You know that? Through and through. Meant to tell you, that uh, armor you got is great. Oh. Oh, uh. Hmm. Well, um, uh, thanks. Um, uh, it gets the job done. I don't meet a lot of people like you, Javi. Someone genuinely good. It was my pleasure. Second chances are in short supply these days. That's what this place can be if you let it. Trust me, though. Life within walls is a hell of a lot different than life on the road. So don't take shortcuts like Joan. You gotta do the right thing. Always. Good days, and especially bad. Absolutely. The right thing. No matter what. Good to hear. I read people pretty well. Little gift of mine. You're a capable guy, Javi. Change is in the air here. You can lead that change, and I think you should. For the better. God knows this town could use it. You know what? I'm gonna step up. <clears throat> lead this place in the right direction. Then as far as I'm concerned, Richmond's in much better hands than it was. Hey, uh, Jesus? Hey, uh, Gabe. Thanks for, you know, not letting me get killed and for coming back to help us. Yeah, thanks for that, man. Pay it forward. <sighs> Be vigilant. Trouble never stays too far away. Alive. Don't remind me. I'm not gonna say thank you for keeping me alive, <laughs> but I'm gonna try and find something out there that might make me say thank you. Someday. So where's AJ? Tell me. Where? You know Clem won't rest until she finds AJ. Where is he? Please, man. For her sake. He's at McCarroll Ranch. It's not too far from here. That's... That's where we left him, at least. Thank you. Good luck out there, Doctor. So you're out of here too, huh? Yeah. It's time. I have to find AJ Javi. I've waited so long. But could you do me one last favor before I leave? to do this for my niece. That's nice of you. She thought I was terrible at it. Were you? <laughs> Not your business. I'm really gonna miss Gabe. I mean, he's super annoying sometimes, but I've gotten used to having him around. At least to have someone to talk to, even if he is a total dork. Not that he said anything to me in particular, but you know the guy's got a mondo crush on you, right? <sighs> he does not. Oh my gosh, you have a crush on him too. I do not. Well, you both have my blessing. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you with those scissors. I have to see AJ Javi. I have to see that he's okay. 
Do you think he remembers me? At least a little? Who could forget you, Clem? No one who knew you, I guarantee it. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. Everyone told us he was better off. After everything that's happened, I'm starting to think they're right. I don't know if I was a good mom or not. I can't stop thinking about it. Did you love him? With all of my heart. And of course you were. Gabe told me you used to play baseball. I did. I loved it. He told me you fucked it all up, too. Yep. Sure did. Well, you survived. I had to. But you loved it. How do you survive that? How? If you really loved it, how? That's what's good about a broken heart. When you're looking at it all broken and shattered on the floor, you figure out the pieces you need versus the ones you liked. If you're ready to move on, that is. If. All done. Well, how's it look? You know what? I'll grab your hat. <laughs> I remember this team. Your dad ever teach you about baseball? No, not really. Well, you come back, and I'll tell you all about it. It's a deal. If I bring AJ back with me, will you teach him too? You bet. He belongs with you, Clementine. Bring him back.
dark, it's the dark in you And at night I don't go out too far But did I miss blinking stars All the things that I hoped you hit Ain't just the dark, it's the dark For in these eyes there's never enough light to blind me Jake. 